It's a good fish. He didn't have it. I like. I was waiting to feel him. He did not have it. Oh my god, the thing was so big. Well, this might be the most uh, misconstrued representations of Australia. I think people think you come here, you pack 50 SPF sunscreen, shorts, t-shirts, and, and you, you kick it on the beach. But uh, here's the thing, we're in Southern Australia and it is winter time here. It, it, has to, it had to have been 29 degrees Fahrenheit when we woke up this morning. My feet were legitimately blocks of ice. I've not been that cold and probably forever, and that's saying a lot since I grew up in Northern Illinois. But this is it, we we, slammed, we literally camped on the river last night, and we woke up to this beautiful scenery right here. I took maybe, what was that, like five casts? It was, it was a very ridiculously low amount of casts for never fishing for these fish before, and had a humongous eat, like a very, very nice cod. Um, but that's the fish we're chasing. It's so funny too, because when, on the way here, I was getting the rundown from Mick and Ben, and they were saying, you know, when it gets cold here, when it gets freezing, when ice locks up your guides, you want to throw top water, which just doesn't make any sense to me as a bass guy, but perfect example. It's just a really slow, methodical twitch twitch, and that was enough to get that fish to come up and eat. So we got a few hours to fish in the morning. They're gonna have some breakfast. Maybe get, a, maybe entice a few more to come up and look at the bait. But right now, I gotta, I gotta recover because my feet, like I legitimately, my toes were locked. Like that's how freeze, freezing cold it was. But this is it, welcome to Australia. Wow, holy sh**. I feel like I just burnt myself there. Cheers, folks. Let's catch some cod. That's insane. I'll tell you what gets a lot of fish stars to spend a bait. These ones. Oh, that's the big chatter bait you're talking about with yeah, the stinger. Big chatter. That's man. mental. There you go. Love them, huh? Big bass would go crazy for this. You go yeah, to Texas right. and throw something like this and you're just gonna... Get nailed. Hmm. Have to come over sometime. Yeah, you really do. Can't say they get as big as cod, but they're pretty fun. Okay, aside from the fact that I'm freezing my ass off right now, this place is pretty epic. Like, to come here, sleep right on this tiny little creek, and to be fishing for a fish that is way bigger than anything I've caught out of small waters, it's hard to wrap my head around. This is a deal where you get like one or two bites a day, but the bites you're gonna get are, are really nice. And Murray Cod are just some of the coolest fish I've ever seen, not in person yet, but hopefully soon. I got a glimpse of one that came up on the top water this morning. It's enough to drive me and keep fishing. This whole creek stuff is so dope. I'm gonna keep on walking down and see if we can find some creek cod. This is so sick. My name is Ben Jones, GT Buster, and we are on a river in northwest New South Wales, Australia. Woke up super early this morning, got the sunrise. It is freezing cold. I've had John B and Scott come all the way over from the States to come and fish this beautiful stretch of river, and hopefully we catch that elusive Murray Cod. The boys have got surface lures on to start with. I'm fishing a little glide bait. And uh, yeah, try and get something to uh, rise to the bait. Let's go and get them.
the goal by throwing these big top waters is not only to kind of entice a, a big Murray cod up from the surface, or I guess from the bottom to the surface, but it's also meant to imitate like a little, um, kind of like a little duck or some sort of like injured bird. I don't really know what this lure is classified under. I mean, other than a top water, it's not a popper. It's not obviously a spook. I would, I would more or less call it like a wake, like a wake walking bait. There's definitely a, a specific category this thing falls under, but I, don't, I can't. I can't think of it right now, but it's got an insane amount of action. You can do a couple things. First bite I got in the morning was just by casting out there, twitching it like four times like that and letting it sit. That seems to be kind of what Mick and Ben have been expressing work so well is that twitch, 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 pause, giving it that bait like five seconds to marinate in that zone and then the fish comes up and eats it. But you can also catch them just by simply casting out there next to like a rock or some grass and just slowly reeling it in. It does not seem like these fish will react super hard by just reeling it in really fast. I'm sure you can catch them by cranking it in, but slow and steady seems to win the race. I will say this is kind of a, a difficult style of fishing. I'm learning this very slowly, but it, it really relates to a lot of the fishing back home. I mean, this creek looks like something that I'd fish for largemouth, and we're trying to catch fish at least that get like freaking this big. I mean, I think their world record Mary Cod's like 140 pounds. That's, you know, 40 pounds less than what I weigh, which is, I mean, try to just wrap your head around that. So I'm gonna go back, see what the boys are up to, and we'll uh, we'll keep chucking this big bait around. This thing's crazy. What we're gonna do from here on out, we fished like, what feels like, that was like a mile. I mean, well, you guys go by kilometers, but like a few kilometers or whatever of just barren wasteland, not even a fish. Like Scott didn't get a bite, Mick didn't get a bite. I don't think Ben even got a bite. I only got one bite in the morning. So we're gonna backtrack, get back in the car, find some more productive waters, soak some baits there, see if that works. But first, let's grab some breakfast. Scotty. Best hospitality I've ever had whenever I've traveled. Unreal. This is just as almost just as good as a cod block. Oh my god. Mm. Fifty-five pounds in the Severn River. 55 pounds. The head of that fish is probably better than the one that swiped at me this morning. I'd say the one that swiped this morning. That one. Oh, no. Shut up. Don't say that. That makes so much more sense. Yeah, all right. I bet, yeah. What year was this? Oh, that was, Last week. That was a long time ago because we don't dry them out in the fence like that anymore. Yeah, that would be a bummer. <laughs> wow, that is insane. We're at a local pub right now. Uh, getting some rejuvenation from that cod mission. We just spoke to one of the owners, and I believe that was the owner, and she was kind of showing us some pictures from the olden days, the past, when cods were, you can catch cod like freaking this big. You still can, it's just very rare. She showed us this particular image of like probably over a thousand pounds of cod on a stringer. Pretty incredible fish. To think like a badass fish is like that big, but then like a super mega badass fish can get this big. Imagine like if our largemouth, like a good one was like five pounds and like they got up to like a hundred pounds. Like put that in perspective. So we're just gonna take a look at some pictures, kind of see what we're up against and get on the road. Thank you. Thanks. I'm definitely gonna throw a top water. This is our last chance today. Day number one in Australia. The cod chase continues. It's p.m. now, so I'm sad super early because, like I've said before, it is winter here in Australia, so we have very tiny window for that day bite. Oh, platypus is right there, dude. Turn around, look at that. Anyway, sorry about that uh, little intermission. I freaked out because I saw a platypus. Always wanted to see one of those guys. Such a cool thing. Um, anyway, yeah, the cod chase continues. P.m. deal. I'm throwing a spinnerbait right now. Slow roll on a spinnerbait over some grass. Apparently, this place where we're fishing right now does not get fished often, so our odds of catching one, or at least seeing a cod, is pretty damn high. It hasn't been fishing a week. So we're gonna throw spinner baits while the sun is up, and then once the sun dips, we're gonna go back on the surface and see if we can crank one on top. It's crazy to think that this day began on the first five casts with a giant blow up. 17 degrees Fahrenheit. 
we have not been able to entice a single one after that. It's frustrating, but it's given me the drive to continue throughout the day and huck and wind some big baits around. So we're gonna head that away towards the cod direction and hopefully crank one. I think they've got one over there. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Hell yes. No way. Yeah. They're coming in clutch. Wow. Dude, oh my God. That one's especially pretty. All right, so we got to this new area. And uh, it's probably the first deep stretch of river that we found all day. We covered a lot of miles, like a lot. Yeah, walked. The and uh, yeah, we didn't know if it was going to happen today, to be honest. But um, me and Ben went upstream. You guys went downstream. and didn't know how far away you were, but we've just been working spinner baits along the weed edges. And I literally was zoned out. Like not even paying I was just zoned out. And, and then like for a second, I went, I think I'm going to get bites soon. And then literally five seconds later, it just went dunk, hit it. <laughs> Gave it a little jiggle and then he climbed on. Like these fish, seriously, are an Australian icon. Yeah. They're so special. They're only found in this country. And for anyone who gets to chase these fish in the in the type of places that you come to chase them, and if you're lucky enough to encounter one, I mean, this is just like a toy size one, really. But they're they're a special fish no matter what size. <laughs> and they can be true giants, like true giants. Dude, that's so huge. The team call. It's one. crazy, man. But it might be a bite time right now, so yeah. let's get into it. We got, we both got hit back there. Like, Sick. Yeah, yeah. On the spinner bait, yeah. Yeah. So it's good that you, it's confirmed. Like they're, deeper they're weed edges, man. <laughs> what oh, is there, man. dude? Yes. Hell yes. Oh, Woo! Yeah, good sight. Boom. <laughs> yes. Can we get him in Australia? Oh, that's just crazy. I did, I feel like I caught that fish, yeah, man. man. Very, they get very, like that. Yeah. Caught a lot that man. Holy Every one. Shit. If you're there on the day, every fish yeah. is, is a team cod. Well, we logged a bit, a bit of time today. Yeah. We've got some daylight left. It literally could be we got the start there, of the bite, yeah. bite period right yeah. now. Let's so go. let's go. Let's go. Let's get them. Oh, sh I'm on. No way. As it was sinking. I'm on. No way. No way! You're kidding me! Dude, as it was sinking, I was coming down. <laughs> this is crazy. This is craziness. It feels decent too, dude. Yeah. No way. Oh, there he is. Yeah, right here's been perfect. Come on. Don't you come off. Don't you come off. It's a fat one. Oh my god, don't you come off. Don't you come off. As soon as it hit the water, Mick. Like, no joke. Oh, that's a cool yeah. Oh, he's barely hooked. Let's go! Let's freaking go! That's a solid one. Let's go! Oh, the hook is in my hand. Ouch. Wow. Dude, did you, were you watching what was going on? I like. You hit the water and you all just instantly excited. I was trying to avoid this, this thorn bush because I wanted to come down here and get level with the cast. And like, I like felt like, doot, doot, doot. I'm like, what the? Set the hook with like my left, like wrong hand. <laughs> First cod, baby. <laughs> we did it. My heart's pounding, man. My heart is pounding. This is the fish we traveled 13 hours for. Got in the car last night, super late, absolutely gassed, knowing that we could have a shot at this guy right here. One good bite. My second, or actually third bite of the day. And it panned out. This feels weird, man. Like I'm holding the cod. Like what in the? Look at how the hooks come. Oh my god, I got lucky. I got so lucky. Let's give her a dip. Okay. Oh. Wow. See, this was this is what makes the day so cool. I got to kind of have a taste of this early in the morning. It was enough to keep me driving throughout the day into the evening, which we're fishing in right now. And it worked out. It all panned out. We didn't stop fishing, like not one bit. We fished three creeks, 
fished a ton of laydowns through a ton of different types of baits, and it worked. Keep fishing, never stop. We freaking did it. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Let's go. <laughs> wow, man, I feel giddy after that. Like, there's only one word to describe it, and it's just like giddy. I feel just like I was just so weird. I was like, I was like, what's going on? This is just so weird. I don't really know if you guys got a grasp of what went down there, but I took a cast and I went to level myself with the bank so I had a better retrieve and that line was level with the, the surface and uh, the rod was going like boom, boom, boom as I was walking down. I like slipped and fell, almost sat right on top of a thorn bush, set the hook, reeling this thing in. I'm like, this is a, a cod. Like this just doesn't feel real. But uh, the reason why that fish was so special is because that was a, that was a level one ground up type mission. Never have I ever fished these guys before and it's so unique and I think extremely special to try to learn something new. I've been fishing for since, you know, I was like four years old and getting the opportunity to chase after a completely new species I know nothing about is super humbling. Even though I caught that fish, I still feel humbled. That was unbelievable. Thanks to Ben and Mick too for being absolutely exceptional guides and showing two goons how it's done. And we still have the opportunity to link ups with Scott to catch a fish. Get yeah, a chance for one more. Oh God. Let's go. I can't even talk right now. He's on. Oh my God. Hey, Got the third one of the day hooked up here. Praying this thing stays on. Whew. Oh my God, my heart is pumping. I was not even paying attention anymore. There he is. Dude, epic. We got three Murray Cod in one day. Not a bad one at all. Look at that. On the same exact spinner bait that John just got his on. Couldn't write it any better than that, dude. Unbelievable. Wow. I thought you were messing with me. I was like, no. How does that feel? We were just talking about whether we're gonna leave tonight or not. How does that feel? <laughs> Dude, perfect finish to day one. Three Murray Cod. Pretty much all we could ask for. And then, and then some. There she goes. Amazing. Thank you, Mick. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> awesome job. Yeah, I'm buzzing right now. Mission oh, that's accomplished. Unbelievable. Okay, so this was going down right now. Scott prevailed. I caught a fish, May caught a fish. We had a total, a grand total so far of three Murray caught. The reason why I say so far is because we've linked up with another legend. His name is Adam, and Adam fishes here often. We're gonna fish this spot called the Gorge. Apparently it's like this unbelievable, huge dropping off cliff. As easy as it is to get back in the car and head back north, to continue our journey, we are here in cod territory, so we might as well just grind it out, fish until it gets completely dark, and throw some top water, as that's when the big fish come out. So we're gonna fish for like a few more hours, get back in the whip, and uh, maybe stick one more. That'd be pretty, that'd be pretty wild. But even if we don't, it's just an incredible finish of the day. Three cod total, and uh, we can leave here not so empty-handed. 